Hi folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, the place where people go to get really, really good at Lightroom. And we have another layout for us here. This is a, well, we're doing a wedding book layout, but it, you know, this layout becomes whatever you drag photos into it. If you drag uh, photos of cars in here, it becomes a car layout. But in this case, we're doing a wedding book layout. And again, this is one that Lightroom doesn't have a default template for right so you have to build it yourself and so if you want to download this template you can do it from lightroomkillertips.com because I made it there available for you if not you can learn to do it right now and it's really really simple and really easy and this is the layout over here of course not this side just one big photo that's duh but over here you have one two three four five right so three wide photos two skinny tall ones and then this big tall one and that's the layout we're going to do we start over here in the print module and our layout style has to be custom package. That's the one that allows us to kind of drag and drop any size image we want. Then we're gonna go down here to cells and we'll start by clicking on the two and a half by three and a half cell, this one right here. And we're going to kind of make it smaller. So hold the shift key and bring it in a bit. Now, once you have one, you get to do this weird tricky thing that sometimes Lightroom will let you duplicate it exactly by holding the option key on Mac or the alt key on windows and see how it copied perfectly like wow that worked great yeah it doesn't always work for some reason all right so now you need a third one click on it hold the option key Oop, it made another copy it's a miracle all right I kind of position notice how I'm positioning this right between the other two now it, by default it's going to snap to a grid so you it'll go snap snap as you move it go over here to rulers grids and guides if you want it to snap turn on it's grid and it will snap to an invisible grid. I have it off here only because it's just been a little sticky trying to get these little boxes to fit. So I finally got like, forget it. I'll just turn it off. But it's your choice. Now we have three boxes that are the same size. Let's go ahead and click and hold the option key on Mac, alt key on Windows, drag ourselves a copy and drag this here. Now, of course, everything has to line up. So you're going to tuck it right in there. All right, and to get another box this size, hold the option key, click and drag. I can't believe it all worked that well. All right, there we go. Now we have one more to go. This one's a little off by just a tiny bit. There we go. And then we have one more to go. Hold the option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, drag yourself a copy, and we're going to make this the big tall one. So let's make it a little bit wider and same depth as all of those together. All right, that is our layout. Now all we have to do is drag images into that layout. So we'll drag this one over here. We'll drag these here. Bride over here. There we go. Drag this one here. Hey, by the way, if you hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, you can move it around inside the cell. All right. And then we have one more to go. That would be probably this one right here. And drag it where you want it. And there is your layout. Now, two things. When you are done, do not forget to go and do the template browser. Hit the plus sign and save yourself this template. Now, it, when you go to down, if you download mine, it begins with SK and I did like, you know, six up or whatever, something like that. Ding. Ooh, my microwave's ready. Just kidding. Okay. So hit cancel there. <laughs> That's that. And uh, there's your, uh, there's your basic, basic layout and save it as your template. Now, what you want to do then is at the very end, go to print job and save this file as a JPEG, right? Save this file as a JPEG, save it to your desktop, and then re-import it into Lightroom so you can put it into the book module. Because again, this is a size that that isn't in one of the templates. It's not a template available, but that doesn't mean you can't quickly make this in the print module, save it as a page and bring it back into the book module as your own awesomely custom page. Okay, so that's it for today, folks. Go to kelby1.com right now, just as fast as you can, and take the 10-day free trial. We've got so many classes on every Lightroom topic you can imagine. Full-length classes in full cinematic HD. So anyway, go check it out. <laughs> take the 10-day free trial. Start learning right now at kelby1.com. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time.